Welcome to the TVHS News for the week of May 11, 2015. My name is Marissa Bailey. And I'm Armando Rodriguez. Let's, Let's get, get started. started. For the national story, Starbucks Ethos Water Bottling Company is dedicated to donating to charities, has come under fire for bottling water in a heart drought ravaged California. The city of Merced, where the plant is located, the community of Baxter, where the plant obtains its water, are both under exceptional drought. Under California rules, water companies do not pay for their groundwater. With no end to the drought in sight, the public has become infuriated that companies that do not have to pay for the water can sell the water to the public for a huge profit. The community has decided to have a local car wash in support of Matthew Christensen's family. Christensen was killed last week after being robbed. Other f friends and family members have been raising money for his funeral costs and they have so far raised $2,500. Here's Justin with sports. Hey there, Tonopah. With the NBA playoffs still in motion, there are only eight teams remaining. Each team is deserving and has worked hard all season for that elusive title. Also, Stephen Curry has been chosen, chosen as the NBA MVP. In MLB news, with just over 30 games played in the new season, there are a few teams that are on top. The Houston Astros, Detroit Tigers, St. Louis Cardinals, and the Los Angeles Dodgers have seemed to find their edge and are dominating their divisions. But the Arizona Diamondbacks aren't doing so well in their division. They now have a three-game series against the Washington Nationals at home. That's it for your weekly sports update. Thanks, Justin. Justin. And here's the weather with Bodie. This is Bodie with your local. This week we'll be experiencing sunny days in the 95s to mid hundreds. And maybe experiencing some slight thunderstorms in the midweek. Expect them around Wednesday. This has been Bodie with your local at the Tonka. Thanks, Bodie. Now here's Nayeli for the word of the week. My name is Nayeli and today's word is trepidation. Trepidation is a noun and it means a feeling of fear or agitation about something that may happen. This is how you use it in a sentence. The eBay added open her credit card statement with great trepidation. Come back next week for another word of the week. Thanks Nayeli. Now let's go down the rabbit hole with Alex in Wonderland. Alex here with a new fun fact. Jay-Z was born on December 4th, 1969. He is 45 years old and is worth about Five hundred sixty million dollars. Ninety-nine problems, but money ain't one. Alex, now to your lunch report with Andy. Andy Cut is here with your delicious and nutritious lunch menu for this week. Start off Monday with orange chicken, rice, and vegetables. Continue to raid the chicken farm on Tuesday with some chicken nuggets, mac and cheese, and a poultry around the green beans in, as well as a roll. Join the queue on Wednesday to get some barbecue chicken, beans, and some of these jokes on the cob, as well as a biscuit. On Thursday, it will be Thanksgiving with turkey noodles, mashed potatoes, broccoli, and make sure you're ready for a breadstick. Lunch on Friday will be chicken fajitas, rice, and put on yawn some onions and peppers. If none of these fit your fancy, feast on either a cheeseburger or a chicken sandwich on any day that ends in Y. If you want a pizza, pepperoni pizza is served daily with variations, each one topping last, served throughout the week. Thanks, Andy. Now to Life Skills with Mr. Lefevers. Welcome to my office out there in Phoenix TV land. Okay, special shout out to my sister in Tucson, Arizona. She watches these things on Monday morning. She's quite impressed with what a great job our students do, everybody on the newscast. And so she, she I told her the other day when I talked to her that I'd mention her name. So, hey Tara, I love you. Okay, six or seven real quick things off the top of my head to make you have a better day that you can use to influence other people, okay? So number one, number one, never apologize for having such a high standard. People who really want to be in your life will rise up to meet the standards that you set. How do you work this thing? There we go. Okay, you, you will be tested, you will fall down, you will keep going, you will learn, you will grow, you will succeed. That's the mindset you gotta have. Number three, 
confidence or not, okay? Have you ever seen the thing where it says if A, B, C, D, and it goes all the way up to Z, and then you number it, and you go 1, 2, 3, 4, and it goes up to 26? So each letter represents a number, okay, has a numerical factor. Knowledge, when you add them all up, if you write out the word knowledge, adds up to 96. If you write out hard work, it only adds up to 98. If you take the same word and the same number scale and use attitude, it adds up to 100. It's the only one that influences you as much. So you can work hard and you can have knowledge, but if you don't have a good attitude, you're going to fall short, okay? Don't change so people will like you. Be yourself and make them like who you are. Those are the kind of people that you want to hang out with. How you like that picture, Bodie? Hey, a champion is someone who gets up even when they don't feel like they want to get up. Be strong, but, but not rude. Be kind, but not weak. Be bold, but not, not a bully. Be humble, but not timid. Be proud, but not arrogant, okay? And last but not least, Cowboy model, which kind of be like a Phoenix model. If it's not yours, don't take it. If it's not true, don't say it. And if it's not right, most importantly of all, don't do it. Okay, today's um, the 11th of May. This is the last full week of school. Hard to believe it's already here at the middle of May, man. <clears throat> a couple days, seniors take off, go to Disneyland, those that are going. The rest of them be taking senior finals, getting ready for checkout on Friday. And like in, 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 in two weeks, well, two weeks from the day we're doing this right now, you guys be Memorial Day and at the beach drinking lemonades. Have a good day. Thanks, Mr. LaFevers. Now let's go to Kirby for Kirby's Corner. Kirby's Corner. That's me. Good morning, Tonopah, and welcome back to one of the last newscasts of the year. Just a couple of very important announcements. So first of all, we have a community service project today after school, so if anybody likes to do yard work and wants to come help the ambassadors at a neighborly, the neighborly project, please come see me today so I can give you the information. Wednesday, seniors, I hope you're listening. You better be here because you have the senior trip this week. You need to be here at Wednesday at 4 a.m. Nobody loves 4 a.m., but you better be here on time, okay? Friday, seniors, that is senior checkout day. You have a checkout form that was part of your um, your packet. You need to make sure that you have that. If you don't, you can pick up a new one in the front office, but Friday is the day you need to get all of your grades completed, your fees checked off, anything. Look at your senior packet if you have no idea. This is what it looks like. It is in here. Check it out. Next week, we have a senior recognition ceremony for our seniors. That starts at 6 o'clock on Monday evening. Come out and support your students and wish them well in their future. On Wednesday and Thursday are finals for everybody else. So Wednesday is first and second period. You will leave after lunch. Thursday is third and fourth period. You will leave after lunch. And then Thursday night is graduation. How exciting is that? I know it's still a couple weeks away, but thought I'd get that in your head in case you forget. 7.30 Thursday night, May 21st. For seniors as well, on Friday, it is your checkout. Everybody needs to make sure you are here that day. You go to your classes. Your checkout form is in this packet. So if you have no idea what I'm talking about, read through that or come get a new one in the office. Make sure you get your classes signed off on all fees. Everything is taken care of to enable you to participate in graduation next week. Speaking of next week, Monday is our senior recognition ceremony where all seniors will get their cap and gown. I hope you've ordered your cap and gown because if you haven't, that's now a problem. But 6 o'clock that night, I hope everybody listening can make it. Come wish everybody well. Wednesday and Thursday are finals for everybody else. Wednesday is first and second period. You will leave after lunch. Thursday is third and fourth period. You will leave after lunch. And then Thursday night is the end of the year culmination with graduation. For our seniors, and I believe 100% of our currently enrolled seniors will be in that ceremony, so that is an exciting day. Hope to see you all there. Thank you very much. Okay. People are coming to the hotel. No one must come here. No one must see the horrible act we must witness night after night. You cannot stop them. It is their destiny. The 12th of May, as the clock strikes seven. Let, Let them come, come if they dare. 
We will be waiting. 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 Thanks for watching the TVHS News. And remember, be safe, be responsible, and be respectful in everything that you do. Keep it real, Tonopah.